heating up my hands. What's a new thing on LBS? Okay then. Uh, there we go. Right, hey guys, hope you lot are having a good day. I'm a fairly chill day myself. The sun is actually pretty good, so, you know, could be worse. A bit tired as always, but you know, we can get over that. But yes, today we're going to be continuing with Secrets of Crindia. Because of course, we were going to do it Monday, but on Monday, I uh, decided to do Yu-Gi-Oh instead. Jesus Christ. When I move the mic away, it gets really echoey. Hold on. Why is it... This, is it echoey over here? Hold on. Oh, that's... Oh. That's so weird. I've got to remember that, actually, because that would definitely cause some issues. I guess mics always have that sort of thing where you have to be semi-close to them for it to uh, be clearer. But yeah, anyway, other than me discovering how the hell a microphone works, because I'm still not the best at it. I don't understand, like, sound, um, like, editing and stuff, and uh, how to make sound better. I just know, like, remove echoing and stuff, and background noise, hopefully. But yes, uh, continue with Six of Grindia today, where we're going to be going through Mount Bloom, which is going to be quite bad, I see. Uh... This is where some of the bosses really ramp up in difficulty. Some of them, not all of them now. But yeah, I'm very much not looking forward to doing some of the bosses because I feel like they're going to be pretty hard. But yeah, let me, uh, I guess I should swap over to the game then. Enough shenanigans. Where the hell is Six of Grindia? Uh, there it is. Right, we in the game now then, boys. Just trying to remember everything. I have my triple charge spin. I have bees. Or flies. How far do they go? Can I charge up to silver yet? No, I do not have silver. Oh, but they go a lot further if I at least... I don't know. Wait, do they go further if I charge it up? They go a tiny bit further, I think. Yeah, they go a tiny bit further if I charge it up. Because I haven't got to, like, silver yet. But, of course, I've got my... Heroic slam, which does a lot of work. That's on the right trigger. And then, of course, I got my favorite ability in the game the spin to win because it just chews through things. But yeah, let's uh, head over to Mount Bloom then. I was watching my. Uh... I guess that's fine with her. Is this a live stream again, which is always interesting to know. Because she used to do streaming in the past with uh, one of her friends. And she's uh, started doing it again, which is um, interesting. So if you want to check that out, you could just check it out. What's the fucking channel called? Is it Maxi Morty, I think? Oh, I need to add them to my auto host list now that I think about it. But to be fair, they only stream on Thursdays when I don't stream. So it's not like I can really raid them or anything because... I just don't stream on Thursday. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're playing through uh, Monster Hunter World at the moment. Monster Hunter World is a fucking good game, so it's interesting to see them do that. Oh. Move out of the way. Yeah, but for me, uh, I guess recently, I just haven't really been doing much. My life's been pretty much on repeat ground of day. I've sorted out my registration stuff for university now, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Because... I got, like, no information. I sent off, like, multiple emails trying to get, like, help. Because one of the questions was really, like... It wasn't exact. It was quite generic. So I was really, like, struggling to sort of be like, what are you on about? <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to get spinsec legs. Let's actually do that quest then while I'm just thinking and stuff. But I sent off help and stuff, and I got absolutely no replies, which was really annoying. Because I'm trying to get help, and then it's just like, nope, you get absolutely no information. Enjoy. Yeah, watch out for the fucking fire shrooms, though, because those guys will mess you up. Uh, let's actually buff up quickly. Oh my god, I actually got the magic attack thing, which is completely useless because I don't use magic attack. But I think I can craft that into something, actually. Uh, you can make the Spinsect armor, which is actually not even that good. Um, I 
think there's one thing that's actually decent to get here. I think it's all right. No, all right. The two-handed weapon is... I've pretty much already saw it. I've got my big blade. But there's another two-handed weapon a bit further on, which is uh, actually an upgrade. That's one of them, which is a, a really good weapon, but it has a massive downside of it will just fuck you over. Uh, but I think there's... um. Oh, it's not here at the moment. There's another great sword I need to get as well. Which is uh, better, but it on it really it mainly benefits from just wanna go to cave, that'll be oh. Okay. I only really benefit from fucking It only benefits from uh, you need to collect cards, and since my character here barely has any cards, it will be a pretty useless upgrade for this character, at least. However, my other character, where I have collected every card, it just does its work very effectively. Ow! Oh, Jesus Christ, that fire does so much damage. Eh. Good thing I've got, you know, because of the slime card that everyone gets, you get... Pretty decent pickup range. Oh, that's two now. I swim pretty fast now that I'm looking at it. Did I upgrade my attack speed at all? I feel like I must have at the speed I'm swinging. There's another carapace. Bonk. Prick. I wonder if you can actually block it. Oh, of course not, because there's a fucking uh, shroom up my face. My self-defense mechanism against the spinny guys has literally just become my own spinny thing. You can't outspin me, you fecko. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly get this uh, grabbing quest out of the way. God, these guys are, like, even worse than Jumpkins, because these things can actually, like, survive. Grab the health. It wasn't worth it. It barely healed. I need sh Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that fire does so much damage on this difficulty. Oh, it just respawned me here. Never mind. I just can't touch the fire or the poison because they both deal absurd damage. I like the design of the spin sex style. I think they're a pretty cool design. Uh, right, so I've got... Right, I need one more spin sex leg and 12 more spores. That shouldn't be too bad. Ah, but how am I going to... Oh, I can just use my shield. My shield can take all the poison damage. Yeah, my shield can exactly take all of the poison damage. Kill it before it does anything. Yeah! you can, I can actually chase that thing down with my ability. I just gotta wait for the spore shrooms to spawn. Think. Wow, we both hit each other at that. Ooh, a present. I wonder if I have got a bunch of presents, really. Spin sect. Oh, I really want you to just fucking bonk it. Oh, god damn it. Bonk. Bonk. You can really just bonk those things. Bees! I missed. No, I didn't. Bees! Yes. Consume him, my minions. Oh, that's, a, that's an elite fucking fire shroom. Oh, he even drags fire where he goes. Good thing he has the HP of a small child. I'm going to stay right here and wait for them all to calm down. Oh, wait, I can go across the poison with my shield. Just about. <laughs> yeah, there's a weapon I want from these guys, and let's just say it's not going to be fun to farm. Especially with the how the spin sex act. Spin sex are a cool design, just a really annoying enemy to fight. Right, so I've got the legs, so now I've just got to get the uh, 
Oh, I did the wrong thing. I keep thinking it's LT, not RT, because all of my abilities tend to be on a uh, LT. Go away. Shrump. Ow. Come on, cheeky fucker. Ow, ow. Very big problem. No, you don't. He was trying to spin, and I just... Absolutely destroyed him. Oh, wow, I actually dodged. Oh, it's an elite as well. Yo. I'm totally going to die. Oh, my God. I'm just going to stay in here and hope I don't touch anything. Oh, my God. I actually got knocked over the poison. If I get hit through the poison, I don't actually get poisoned. That's an interesting snippet to know. What did the elite spin sec do? Oh, now that I'm realizing... I am literally surrounded on all sides by pain. There you are, you elite spin sec bastard. <laughs> Got a large crystal, which is their better drop, as it can be used to craft stuff. Bonk. Strumpf everything. Worth it. Oh yeah, we battling in here, boy. Ah, oh, he literally left instantly. Right, let's head back to the apprentice then. So I can give him the ingredients. I think I've got the ingredients. I'm not sure actually. I might need like honey or something. I oh, know, I should be good. There we go. <clears throat> You're back for all the ingredients too. Let me go inside and mix a concoction. And it's not going to go well. All right, if everything goes according to plan, the liquid should be absorbed and my uncle will turn back into a human. Oh. Oh my. Well, it's a humanoid, I guess. Shroom smash. Right, we'll just taste a flask now, if you wouldn't mind, and leave you to your family reunion. Smash shroom. Yay. This is crazy. I've never messed around with polymorph potions again. I would like for my last potion. Uh, well, ooh, wealth. That's a thing. Hex. Wait, how does that even work? What's the point of that? Oh, you move really fast as a chicken. Oh, no, you move at the same speed as... Maybe... Does it make you invincible? Oh, is that like five seconds of invincibility? Because that will be really good. So you can just slowly recover. Treasure is also extremely good. Cards increase drop chance by 20%. Oh, shit, no, that's the good potion. Um, honestly... Yeah, I'm thinking I'm good with these, honestly. I forget to drink my potion during mid-battle anyway, so I don't think turning into a chicken would be too useful because the animation takes forever. By the time I drink my potion, I'm normally safe. <laughs> hey. Oh, hello, sob. I'm sorry, I can't talk right... Now I'm too upset. Fluffy Feathers went missing yesterday and she hasn't come back and I don't know what to do without her. Wow, this is so interesting. I care deeply about all this. What's that, Zane? Are you saying we have to go? Oh, that's too bad. Bye. Wait, you're collectors? I've heard about you. If I offer something valuable to you, you're obliged to help me, right? There's one thing I of great folio I own I can give you. It's called the Timekeeper's Crown. It has the power to control time, like to stop it and stuff. I've had great use of it over the years, but what is all the time in the world if I can't spend it with my fluffy feathers? You own an artifact capable of stopping time. Yeah, right, and I'm a master collector. You realize cheating a collector reward is punishable by jail. How dare you? The crown is very well, real, and I'll give it to you if you find and return fluffy feathers to me. She's a cute little bird with milky white feathers. She makes a really cute noise like cluck or bacow, or was it too? So fluffy feathers is a chicken? There's a chicken, a cute white bird that makes tiny little cute, with tiny little cute wings that makes cute little sounds. Um, people that are not me might describe them that way. 
In that case, Fluffy Feathers is definitely a trick in. Def please bring her back to me. Well, this is a win-win situation if I ever saw one. Let's bring in that chicken, kid. We either get a great reward or the satisfaction of throwing one of these idiots in jail. Uh, okay. Where the fuck is a chicken? Ah, you. You bastard. Timing? Oh, you're talking about Old Town. Yeah, that's past here, right? Can't let you go through, though. Why is that? Uh, it's pretty dangerous. So, you have to do a little favour, you know, to prove yourself. Hey, kid, should we tell them how many frostlings we've whacked back in season, eh? Cool story. I'm a caveman girl. We are monsters, so you can't kill us. This guy really knows collector lore? Really? Ah, whatever. We'll just do that little favour of yours. That's the spirit. It's not a difficult task. I just need you to collect me a few couple... Uh, fetch me a couple of things. Junk, really, but with sentimental value. I even point you in the right direction. Check the cave with the large rock near the mountain exit. Oh, here, take this flute. When you play it, some of my buddies will come to help you get rid of the rock. Wait, why did you say the word help that way? That's pretty suspicious. What? Help? How else would you say help? I'm just trying to be helpful, that's all. Hmm. Just go to the cave with a big rock and play the flute. Easy. Help. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking help you. Oh, God. I can't even think of a line now. I was going to say I'll help. Sorry about that, by the way. Pardon me. Help your fucking life span end quicker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am a monster when it comes to just burping randomly. Oh, the little... F I completely forget the flower enemies are even here. Leftmost cave. Is it this place? No, that's the technological place. This way leads to a pit into the abyss. Oh, this cave up here. Ah, here we go. This is the right place. Now give us a solo on that flute. Yeah, wow, kid, I thought all heroes could play one of these things. Yeah, that wasn't the best. <laughs> all right, I'm the hero. should have played it myself. Oh, I guess the help has arrived. Prepare for anything. Yeah, spin sex. you got to get them to hit the rock. Well, you got to make them... you got to bash them into the rock. That's it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you parry them? Oh, shit. You can actually... If you parry them, they actually stop in place. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to hide in this corner and just spin to win whenever something comes near me. I like how I'm just literally sitting here swinging away and I'm accidentally hitting it quite frequently. Boink. This was the right idea. That thing just went straight through the rock. Oh, nice job, me. Hey, wow, that actually was quite easy. All I do is hide in the corner and just spam the X button. Loaded dice. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a theme along with these uh, trash or items. Fucking loaded dice. Pink. I really wish you could kill cablings. Just go to the cave with a big rock and play through easy. We already did it. You got it? I mean, of course you did. Did the spin sects actually help you? I guess they helped in a way. <laughs> Just as I thought. I never lie, after all. Great, now get out of the way. Not so fast. There's... This here was just one thing I asked for a couple of things. Check your journal if you don't believe me. Eh? The other thing I want is in a cave to the south of here, right next to the waterfall face. There is a no rock. 
There's no rock blocking away or anything, so I think this should be a walk in the park, so to speak. What are these guys? A tribe of goblin lawyers? We'll get to you. We'll get you that one other thing. After that, you better move. Of course, a deal is a deal, after all. Find the second I am. Yeah, this is the door being blocked by um the other cave lane. If I remember correctly. Uh, south. Don't mind me, boys. Want to go into the cave? That'll be 19,369 gold, which is all the gold. I'll give you one gold. Tempting offer, but I won't go below 1,000 gold. Let's settle on two gold. 100 gold? Three gold. 10 gold? Four gold. One gold? No way. <laughs> what an idiot. I, I can't believe it. I was outwitted by a human. Keep your gold, but don't tell the others. I've got a reputation to maintain. Get fucking boof. Did he just call me a human? I've never felt this insulted in my life. Oh, whatever. Well, uh, oh, well. Let's go inside and get that whatever it is we'll find. Power flower. Oh, yeah, shit, boss. This is going to be quite the painful experience, to say the least. I don't think poison flowers actually affect me while I'm uh, in my shield. Ah, now I'm poisoned properly. God, this boss is actually going to be awful in this difficulty because of the fact that everything could just... I need to control these things on the outside. I need to wait. I need to be patient. Perfect. I got rid of all the flowers now. Now I can just purely focus on attacking and I'm already on like no HP. Wow, I actually shielded out a perfect time by accident. Oh, so you hit it once and then he goes in. Got ya. I figured that out now. I figured out this guy's gist now. I've just got to keep backing forth, back and forth between the boss. He's going to laser. Move out of the way, spinny boy. You're literally nothing but a fucking nuisance. Yeah, I've got to kill these things, I'm assuming, because these are the things that are giving him the laser. Oh, wait, I could take this opportunity to attack the main guy. I just completely didn't realize that. And heal. Oh, that was perfect. I just chewed through everything there. Nice, I got the fucking spin sec that's been bugging me. No! <laughs> uh, bugging me, get it? Because he's an insect? That was completely accidental, but I'm happy I did it. I swear this fucking spin sec does target you. Booyah. That was some good damage there. No, I can't actually get a buff off because of these little shrooms fucking everywhere. Okay, that's a good 2,000 damage just so I can keep him at bay for a bit. Perfect. Heal. Oh, can you actually like perfect guard? Game audio mute. Thanks for actually notifying me. <laughs> I completely forgot. Aggressive window screensaver. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what the spin sect did. <laughs> Thanks for actually notifying me of that. I completely forgot to actually turn on the game's audio. But, to be fair, there hasn't been 
Thankfully, this game doesn't have any, like, voice acting or dialogue, so there wasn't anything too much to miss. Right, I'm gonna take the opportunity to heal, actually. And can I take the opportunity to buff? Whoop. Oh, fuck, I hit the wrong thing. I keep fucking, because I have to go there. Oh my god, that was just in time. Shut up. Just keep on mullering him. Whoa. Good thing this boss constantly gives you enemies so that you can constantly heal, which is a, a good way to balance it. How do you get your potions back so quickly because you're constantly attacking stuff? Even if you don't mean to, you're going to be hitting like three enemies at once. What attack skills do you have? Uh, I pretty much only use the spin attack, but I do also have the heroic slam if I really want to do single target damage. But since there's so many enemies here, I feel like just doing generic damage is much more useful. That's it, I couldn't even tell where I was there for a moment because everything's green. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, the worst part is easily the shroomishes who just push you about while you're trying to deal with something. Shrimp. Oh god, that was a lot of healing right there. Woo. I thought I was going to die to that, honestly, but no, I guess not. Oof. Pop. To be fair, that boss just gives you so much healing. I'm like, the next boss that's going to come up is going to be a pain because it's a fairly difficult one. Magic deck. Hell yeah, I got Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, magic deck. Oh, it's probably because it's just... Cheating deck. <laughs> Damn cablings. I'm not being racist. I'm just saying these cablings are a bit scummy. Well, I'm not getting away any XP. I guess I did grind to 21 just a tiny bit, but damn. Oh, oh, there we go. What the fuck are you doing, character? There we go. <laughs> hmm. Is that... Womp. Great work. You're free to pass now. Good luck with the locked door in the cave behind me, though. What locked door? Oh, didn't I tell you? My bad. There's a locked door in the next room. I have a key for it, but, you know, you need us to do something for it. Just a tiny failure, that's all. Alright, pointy ears. I enjoy battles of wit as much as anyone. But let me tell you what will happen to you if this isn't the, your last request. In great detail, Bag told Luffix. Lurifix. About what would happen if this wasn't his last request. But, but you can't do that. I'm not a monster. Oh, don't worry about that. We won't leave any witnesses. Alright, fine. No more games. Do this last favor for me and you'll be able to unlock the door and go all the way to the old town. All I need is a piece of treasure hidden in the Gasfield Cave to the southeast. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's... Does gas scale with difficulty? Because I'm on hard mode, so that might actually be ridiculous. The treasure on is on a ledge right around the corner, so you should have no trouble finding it. I mean, maybe it's a bit too high, but I'm sure you'll find a way around. Yes, yeah, south, east. Okay. <laughs> Little issue with point of gas. Is this a second playthrough hard run? Um, well, second playthrough would be a bit of an understatement. This is probably like my seventh playthrough. Uh, uh, but this is my first ever full hard mode playthrough. I have not uh, played through this game on hard. The only times I've ever played through this game on hard is when I'm on my main character. I'll swap the difficulty over to hard because, of course, you get more drop rates and more enemies. So it's a lot easier to farm for uh, cards and stuff. Oh, wait. I completely ignored uh, Southeast. No, da, 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 over here somewhere. Womp. Ah, how deep in arcade are you? I'm not too deep in arcade. I've only played it a bit. I've only got bits of the village here and there. 
Uh, but I think the furthest I've ever got in an arcade run uh, is Season A, or the, was it? The Seasonal Temple. Um, but that was pre-update. I'm pretty sure with the newest update, uh, I could probably get a bit further because, you know, they've, sh they've made it so instead of going through two floors to go up a floor, uh, you only have to go through one. You just go through one level and then you just go to the next area, which is quite nice, honestly. That's a misconception. Hard doesn't actually increase Iron Gold card drops rare elites. It does. I swear it does increase elite rates because I swear I get way more elites in hard mode. So something about that. Pins are incredible too. Oh, the pins. Oh, I didn't know there were new pins, actually. <laughs> Sorry, could you go? Oh, yeah, duh. Mushrooms. She's an A. Special jump arms. I can't stand mushroom moves. They wiggle about to goof smell. Think about it, it gives me a shiver. Mycophobia. That's what he's Yeah, let's just go grab a shroom and introduce him. I'm from area. Up and over here. There's one. Come on. Come on, you mushroom. Ow. Okay. Next time I do F1. <laughs> Run, you fool. Good. Oh, you haven't seen Pinion through an extra. Oh, the next time you do floor one. Okay. Interesting. The oh, fuck, which one was it? Was it to the left or right? I know I can get the gas mask in here, which will be useful. Uh, yeah, can I do the actual... I want to I view the specifics. Find the last item. Okay, then, game. Let's have a try then. Let's see how vicious this is. Oh, thank God I've got a... I'm just going to wait for my bubble to regenerate first. So the bubble can take the damage instead of me. The bubble was one of the great abilities they added. Like, support ability-wise, I honestly think it's possibly the best. And also the spin to win ability is just great at shredding through those areas. I know I think one-handed tends to do more DPS overall just because the blade flurry is ridiculous. But I just like two-handed. Wimp! Oh, this is the bouncing area. Oh god, this place where you get the uh you get to change what your particle effect is and you get the thing for the other lightsaber. Bouncing Ray Research City. Time since last boot, 1,098 years. One month and 12 days. Looking for updates, cannot connect. Please notify an administrator. Malfunction detected in air, filtration network, communication, surface maintenance and crystal excavation. Warning, corridor biotoxin levels exceeding the safety threshold by 300%. Avoid prolonged exposure in case of nausea. Contact medical. Have a great day. So yeah, this is where they have like date the first of fucking uh november 2396 finally a small step for mankind but a big step for the trick phase community it took a while but we managed to convince professor pine to change his vote in favor of building a phase shift challenge course here in goodness peak what was that goddess peak might be goddess we'll be using the areas already excavated by the mining bots so we expect to have uh, a couple of prototypes rooms ready within the next year. The biggest hurdle will get rid of all the moss and mushrooms. Seriously, goddess peak more like Mount Bloom. I see. Uh, anyway, if we do this right, trick phasing might become a national sport in a few years. Hype. Honey Hawk. I don't think I actually got gold this way yet, but I might do that at some point. It's just an interesting little extra puzzle you can do to get some uh, vanity items. This ain't a game where you play, pay fucking money to get vanity items. Except where you could pay extra 
and then you can have like your own items put into the game, which is always a cool thing, honestly. Oh shit. Don't forget my bubble. Alright, but let's go the other way, just to check. Because this bubble is perfect for these caves. Oh yeah, this is the real hard one where you've really got to actually work to get through these things. You gotta be careful going in and out. I wonder if damage increase will actually affect the crystals. If I believe in the harder cards enough. Don't think that's worth it, really. I got stuck on a rock. Oh, I'm totally dead here. I should have rushed back. I shouldn't have bothered to try and just go ahead. I probably should have gone back and forth there. Or try and get the gas mask. But I forget where the gas mask is. where the gas mask is. Um, is it through the obstacle course? Is it actually up there then? I just forget. It might be. Hold on. I'm going to do this bit then. Hold on. We'll try this and then I'll have a see. Wait for this to go. Wait for this to go. Wait for this to go. And pop. Go and uh, go. There we go. That was a quick zoom. I forgot to grab the health. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right, let's uh, I fucking instantly messed it up. Well, that's gonna go well, isn't it? It's the later ones that are gonna be bloody hard. The other ones where you gotta be like, ooh, where do I go? I'm not sure. Right, that leads. There. Right, yeah, that's what allows you to get the lightsaber, which is a, I think that's a one-handed, like a okay one-handed upgrade. Oh shit, I'm not even reading the things. I'd like to issue an official apology to the moss and mushrooms. Turns out that the real problem with this place is the darn poison gas. Yes, that's right, poison gas. It's seeping through the ground and almost every corridor. We aren't allowed to dig ventilation shafts in any of the rooms with those weird little statues either. Thanks, archaeological archaeology department. We've ordered some industrial air cleaners instead. The manufacturers say they can keep running for over 10 years, so I consider this issue so for now. Still, the shipping takes two weeks, so I guess we'll take a little vacation up in timing until then. That's a weird thing. Like, why wouldn't you allow people to build, um, fucking, like, actual stuff, like, venting and stuff? It doesn't, like, seriously, sure, yeah, yeah, archaeological and stuff, but I'm pretty sure health and safety is far greater than any sort of archaeological find. But I guess, I don't know, they must have had very weird values back in the 2000s. Trick phasing was just taken to the next level. After working non-stop for six months, Kay Kylan, has a f I think that's Kylan, has officially made the first fully functioning photon redirection relay. We're going to call them barrels because of, Don cause of Donkey Kong. Nice little, nice little reference there for short. The barrel can hold and contain a photon data stream and redirect it in a new direction. Imagine all the cool stuff we'll be able to do. On another note, apparently we need a proper facility name to get our funding. We had a vote yesterday, and the winning name is Bouncy Ray Research Facility. Science, baby. Time to get back to the research. I see good times ahead for the noble sport of trick facing. I mean, it kind of disappeared, so uh, shame, really. Oh, wait, yeah, the... God, this is where the thing actually really... Like, these later rooms is where it gets absurd. Oh, I... No, I want the info. Big news. We're going to open up the facility to the public soon. We're trying to drum up some interest by showing off the phase plate technology in towns and cities while building the most epic course yet. I'm 110% super duper sure that when people see this place, they're going to freak out in a good way. 
All aboard the shift blip. We're going to take phase shifting to the skies. That's why I see. That's why I remember um, in the city they have a... What is it? Um, in the city of timing they have a person showing off phase shifting. I wonder why it disappeared. Almost like the crater got atomized by Gundam. <laughs> but I guess it disappeared probably because the people who knew about fucking phase shifting were... Probably all killed by fucking Zamlar. Spoiler. Um, well, actually, it's not really a spoiler because nobody knows who Zamlar is yet. Because we read all about that at the um, the temple. They have all of that information telling you who, uh, why they built Gundam. Gundam was built to kill Zamlar. I don't know why I tried that. That was just small brain right there. Oi. Oh, wait, shit. Uh, how do I hit that one down there, then? Uh, oh, I have to bounce, I think. I probably have to reflect from over there. Okay, so how do I... Ah, I can fire off of that reflection and hit that. Okay, right. Uh, I guess I'll just go this way for now, then. Yeah, this is where it's going to get interesting. Uh, actually, diagonal. I wonder if I could actually fly down and hit into the other ones. Hey, I can actually go back here, so I can do what I wanted to do. And I'm going to try and snipe... Oh, I, just, I fucking completely whiffed that. How the hell am I going to hit this? The rotation is too smooth there. They line up way too much. There. Oi. What is that? Oh, it's a glove. Magic attack. And attack, though. Magic and add. Wait, hold on. That's actually... I don't think that's half bad, honestly. More attack. And the special effects. Sometimes that's your enemies. Ooh. Critical strikes improve the effect. Mmm. I like the EP regen, though. Slight more damage or more EP? I'll stick with EP for now, actually. I was about to say, why did I do that? I'm not going to hit anything. Bruh. There we go. Fire over there. Completely whiff. Right, and then hit the down arrow, and then I want to go, yeah, I want to go down, then, yeah. Pump, and, oh, yeah, duh, the red ring, I just realized, yeah, that's just a buff for the red ring. Yeah, and it gives the electric zaps, okay, yeah, never mind, I completely forgot about the red ring. I don't know why I didn't even consider changing that. Bump. Oh, wait, I did the wrong one. I was going to fire diagonal. <laughs> Again. <sighs> I keep clicking it preemptively. What did I miss? Not much so far. Uh, just going for like the early stages of this area, so. We just teleporting around and stuff, Elkian. Spin to win. <sighs> Just makes you think. <sighs> Beyblade. Let's Beyblade. What's this way? Oh, I've made a mistake. Kill. Fit nothing. What's poison damage when I'm already poisoned? How do I get double poisoned? Yum, yum. Get over here, you little slag. 
I, I thought I thought I nearly said slag there for a moment. I meant to say slug in case I did say slag by accident. Zoom. Brain just went bro. Shrimp. Yum. Oh, is this the right way to go? Wow. Oh. Oh, now I want to go the other way, because I bet the other way probably had something more useful. Alright, I guess I'll just commit to this way first. Jesus Christ, this is going to be a fucking reaction time thing. Okay, so trick phrasing didn't become quite as popular as fast as we were hoping. We had all sort of forgotten that regular people don't have phase imprints, meaning they can't use the phase plates at all. The good news is that phase imprint has been deregulated now, so we can start to give the civilians their imprints right away. You heard it here first. Trick phasing will finally get big. 2401 will be the best year ever. Uh, that one. Sure, let's just test out some of these. Okay, you just lead right back to the beginning, so I don't want to hit you. I want to hit you, though. And you're going to bounce that way. Diagonal? Oh, I can just fire over there. <laughs> wow, that was fucking perfect timing by me. And once again, absolutely flawless. What?! <laughs> There we go. And then we need to fire this down at there so that we can jump into there and over there. Or completely whip. Time that. Oh, I nearly actually hit that. That would have been amazing if I actually hit the thing I wanted to go to by accident. There. Just quick pass. There. There, there. There. Smooth. Ah, now we got one of these puzzles. Good old reflection. When the mirrors look, uh, the mirrors look a bit more nicer now. Right. I want to bounce down. So I need to bounce down, across, down. Okay, right, got ya. Uh, so I want this one over here, first of all. Let's move one of these out of the way. Oops. Yeah, I moved the right way. I can't. Oh, no, I'm not meant to be able to move you. I want you. Actually, no, I want to. I just want to swap the position of these two, actually. That's all I need. No, wait. No, I need to actually move this up here. Never mind. What the hell? <laughs> My brain just went. Bruh. My brain just flatlined for like a good solid minute there. Ah, this won't be a good idea, will it? How about I move you back over here just so I can move this? Yeah, I'll move you over here and then I can move you across. Move three, and then... Ah, oh, God's sakes. Don't want to press the button. Right, you there, and then we put you, I know we want to undo that, and move you up, so I can move you across, and then we move you across, and up, and that should be good, hey, not too bad, no, oh. The imprinting project has gone well, but we have to put it on hold for now. We just received an emergency evacuation from the board of directors. Apparently, something happening over, something happening over in timing. I hope nobody is hurt. Anyway, got a rush. We'll be back to bring trick phasing to the masses. That's a promise. And then they never did. Oh, never mind. I was never meant to go in the other cave. Okay then. No, that was just the right way. Apparently. Huh. Well, let's go give him his item then. I guess I'll go get the gas mask at some other point. I don't know why I always run straight up to the bloody statue. My brain just goes bruh, zoom. However, we will get to go to timing now, which is a nice place. Looks like you've earned yourself a key to the locked door. Wink. Stay safe now, pleasure doing business with you. 
The bricks, what are you doing just standing over there? You gave your cabling word that you'd bring us great treasure, yet you haven't moved an inch. Was my faith in you misplaced, young Lurifix? Relax, relax, I have the stuff right here. By the moss, it's the three lost relics of the cabling history. To think I'd be able to lay my eyes on these in my lifetime. This is an amazing feat, Lurifix. As a reward, I grant you this blade of the ruined prince, which grants 500 attack and 500 magic attack. Nice, too bad the only weapons I use are sticks. I bet this thing will work great as a potato peeler, though. Also, please accept these boots of wind. They will increase your attack speed and move at speed by 700%. Wow, I never wear shoes, really, but I bet this will burn nicely in the winter. Last but not least, here's the Emblem of Power, which will make any magic spell cost zero energy to use. That's crazy. Imagine if you were a person who'd use spells or skills. This would be invaluable. Hm. I'd probably work as, could probably work as a plate, though. Yep, that's how I use it. Tell me, Laura folks, how did you, a mere cabling, such as myself, brave the dangers that guarded the treasures? Are you kidding? Of course I didn't go myself. I totally tricked that fool over there to help me. You tricked a collector? You tricked a member of the most powerful organization on the continent. That's amazing! You've proven that even the best among humans are complete airheads compared to us. You're a true model for our community, Lurifix. Please let me grow up, host a great feast in your honor. Must. Keep. Calm. Let's get out of here before I lose my mind, kid. Honestly, you could probably just kill them if they're just a bunch of, like, criminals. Just fucking execute them. It's not like anyone would miss them. <sighs> I assume that's the path to timing, then. It's been a while. Oh, yeah, I remember this. What the... <laughs> all right here's the plan let's forget about this embarrassing episode and never ever speak of it again when we finally find those ancient artifacts those annoying cavelings will seem like a faded memory now let's go just use the artifacts to kill the cavelings there you go that's that's the true big brain cliff damn it ah here we go this is going to be a boss that I'm not going to do too well against, I reckon. What is it with you and touching every suspicious thing you come across? Good thing it was just a statue this time. What's it going to do? Explode? Mm. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> just boom. Fools who dare awaken me, for the sake of the future and those who have fallen, I shall be your end. Uh, could we at least talk about it? I guess not. Prepare to defend yourself, kid. Cursed priestess, watcher of the for town forgotten. I you fucking shield crash that. God, these things are so precise with their dodging now, which is the big problem. Here comes the big ability. Oh, where it just changes up on you. However, you can hit through it, which is useful. How do you? I need to get my EP back so I can actually shield. No, not health. Oh, I fucked myself right there. I think if you... There's a one place you can actually stand in this area where you don't take damage, which I found hilarious. But I forget where it is, so I can't exactly use it, can I? Here comes this move again. Shield. This is this the one where it's going to start firing things from the outside? Ah, this attack. Oh! Jesus Christ, that just chewed through my shield like it was fucking nothing. One more, I think? Oh no, wait, shit, I forget. Yeah, it lasts quite a while, this attack. 
Oh, oh, thank God I, my dodge triggered there. Go, 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 go. And then she swings it. Way. 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 People found that if you stand in the bottom left or right, uh, where she doesn't suck you into a circle, I think. Oh, interesting. That's, that's potentially something I can think about. Like if I go over here. <laughs> well, I guess I definitely misplaced that. Damn shield. Of course, you also happen to have a shield. I can't be the only one. I've walked straight into that one. I literally stepped forward and just asked to get hit by that projectile. Oh, and then they all target you, yeah. So you just gotta keep moving. Because they target your previous position. Oh, that attack. Oh. This just reminds me of uh, Winter's Icicle attack. Oh, that was way too close. The wood. Nope, that wasn't gonna work. Oh, this attack where she moves from place to place. I guess I could be attacking her this entire time because I can move while attacking thanks for this ability. Yeah, I can break it really early actually. Now she's got four blades. Joy. I don't know if you can parry these. Mm, I don't know if you can, honestly. I hope you can, because that would be cool. Oh, and I lost my shield within five seconds. Heal while this attack's going on, I guess. Ow. Oh, wait, I need to run over to one other side. Oh, it's this attack. I didn't even think it was this attack. Right, I need to shield up for this fucking version of the attack. Ow. Ay, 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 ay. This is absurd! <laughs> ah! That attack is ridiculous! Right, they're all gonna target me, I can heal now. Oh wait, no I couldn't! I definitely couldn't! Oh god, I keep... I definitely will blame it, I do keep walking into one of the fucking projectiles. I... I... <laughs> I'm standing here, and you can't touch me. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I was sucked through the gate. Magic. Yeah, I'm totally dead on this run. There's no way I'm surviving. Unless the boss literally just gives up and just quits. That is the only way I'm winning this. Ah. Bottom left or right wood? Oh, that wood. I guess they patched it. Possibly, because that would be quite an, uh, an abusable thing, I'd feel. Oh, fuck, I've got to boost. I've got to buff. Actually, I don't think bosses even carry over into the fight anyway. It's not like that would matter. I guess I just got to really get some early damage off. And, well, I've already fucked that plan up, because I've already taken stupid damage. Right, she's going to do this attack, where she summons the blade and swings it left and right, I'm assuming. No. She's going to change up, that's fair. What? Oh, this game definitely ain't like intrusion, in the sense that intrusion bosses have a fixed attack pattern. That you can slowly learn and learn over. But to be fair, the whole point of intrusion is that you're meant to be able to die quickly. Oh, Jesus. They just shredded my shield because I stood right next to her. Get some cheeky little damage off. This is the firing randomly. Oh. 
Who here? He who I yo 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 This boss is literally just a bullet hell though. Thought winter was a bullet hell. Well, here's the new one. Oh, I am safe now. Leave me alone. <laughs> I escaped the circle, but then she just headed towards me like, no, you're not leaving that easily. All right, let me just heal. Oh, that was close. All right, now they're going to follow me one by one though. Right, dodge, circle, circle strafe, circle strafe, of course. Wow, I got really lucky of that pattern, kind of, because of the fact, well, I didn't get lucky of my timing of stuff, but... What the fuck is this? Oh my god, that's really fucking fast, what the hell? I I don't remember this attack at all, actually. I don't remember that attack at all. That threw me for a gun. Come on. Shoot. Dodge. It's so hard to guess where they are. Alright. There you go. That was my fault. That last one I probably could have avoided. So back and forth. Just stay close to her and you'll be f mostly fine. Oh, no mind unless you really want to dead. I just parried the blades again, though. That's so weird that you can parry the blades with the actual shield. Jesus Christ. Ow. Ah, oh, I cancelled my ability. Oh. Oh. Careful. Careful. Shield up. Just gotta be very careful. Maybe turning into a chicken in this boss fight would actually be quite useful. Five seconds of invincibility does sound pretty useful. Oh, of course you'd move it all the way down. Nah, and again. You gotta bring it closer to yourself. Cheers, mate. Oh, I walked straight into that. Oh, they cancelled my healing. That's not nice. What are you gonna do? Ah, this attack. The attack I really suck at dodging. Bosses love to use attacks, which you just don't understand. <laughs> oh. oh, piss. Oh. 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 Go for the attack, cause fuck it. <laughs> that actually kind of chipped off a tiny bit, and then there's gonna be, what, one more? Wow, that l attack lasts longer than it really should do. Oh, I actually dodged up by accident. <laughs> this attack. Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh? Oh, I actually got a heal off and a buff off. That's all I want, really. Just go in a... Fucking go in. Just, 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 just be patient. Don't get aggressive. Don't be dumb. 
This is a Dark Souls boss. Just, just be patient. Don't rush it. Dodge. Thank God I actually dodged that. Huh. Right now I've got to dodge that and then dodge that. Okay. God, thank God I got that dodge ability. Because that's just saving me some free damage pretty much. Bubble took a bit of damage there. Oh, I'm willing to take that. Oh god, that's that's the problem. This is where the problem arises. Problems, 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 problems. Why are you still doing the attack? The attack should have ended ages ago. Buff. Oh, this is the problem where it just starts firing it like everywhere, so there's no real way to ooh, avoid it. Unless you're... Oh, here comes pain. Oh! 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 Go, 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 go. Do the, uh... Sure! I'll act as if the, uh, this attack is... Oh, God. I was about to say this attack ain't too bad, but... Got absolutely comboed. Just focus completely on my character and nothing else. Go up. Oh, the double loop. Oh, that was completely my fault because I got cocky. Oh, what? It didn't even change. Bro, you cheeky git. Attack! Oh, I got the attack off quickly. One, two, 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 two. Go. Sorry if I'm not talking much, but I'm uh, kind of in like slight concentration mode. I'm just like, bruh, I need to activate fucking Ultra Instinct to dodge all this shit. One more. Right, then dodge. I say dodge, but uh, more just sort of flee. Oh my god, they somehow missed me with that. Fucking pop. Here comes the big, this is the big problem. Thank god the boss doesn't have a hitbox. Because that would be quite absurd. How long do I have to last through this? It's really hard to see your character with all these extra stuff just floating about everywhere. Wow, I fucking use the shield for a second and it just pops. Go, 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 go. Dodge. Oh my god, I had no right to dodge that. Heal. Nice. Ooh, we'll get some little damage off. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We we doing a bit. Just don't get ahead of yourself. God, that disc is spinning so fast. Like the, the outer ring. <laughs> go, 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 go. Lost attack! <laughs> Whew! Whew, that bod... Boss fight was bloody intense. This cannot be if I fall here. The spell, it awakens, then that means you are... Zane? There is so much I wish I could tell you, but history may not be altered. My debt to the goddess is paid, and as my servitude comes to an end, you shall witness the beginning. Do not fear the horrors of the past, for you have already bested them. Bone crack in reality. Touch. <laughs> uh, 
what sort of craziness is going on this time? Hey, this time? Hey, wait a minute, is this place... Hey, how did you get past us? More importantly, how did you get through... Get past the giant thorn worms? In either case, you can't visit timing without a written position, permission from the House of Citizens. Uh, yeah, about that. Seems like we left our papers back home in Evergrande City. Evergrind? I don't know of any city of that name. Oh, that's right. It used to be called Grand Capital Atom back then. But then, what are you talking about? Young boy, if you can't show us a written permission, permit, I must ask you to take your artifact and leave. Hold it. Master Sisu. Thank you for defending our gates, young guard. You're doing an excellent job. However, I'd like to let this boy in under my personal supervision. Of course, Master Sisu, but why? Strong knows strong, see, and though this boy is young, I sense a great power within. Not everyone waltzes around with a sentient artifacts either, now do they? Now, rather than turning our guest away, I say we find out why he's here. See? Keep your friends close enough to embrace them, and your enemies close enough to destroy them. I don't like it, but I see your point, Master Sisu. Listen, stranger, this is a peaceful town, I... And you better not break our trust. With Master Sisu blessing you, you can stay close. With Master Sisu's blessing, you can stay close to the border, but don't try to pass into the town proper. Now, come with me to my home to the northeast. Let's find out if you're a friend or foe. Hmm? This place, I don't know a good way of saying it, kid, but so I'll just say it outright. This is timing, right? As it was 1,000 years ago. I don't know what kind of magic took us here, but whatever it is, I'm not liking it. Let's do as the old man says for now while we try to find a way back to our own time. Yeah, all we got to do is touch the thing and then the broom. Oh yeah, you got the bamboo now. Bonk. Here we are. If my young ward is still practicing, please don't interrupt him. He's trying a uh, two, as it is. Excellent footwork, Fata. You've truly improved over these past few days. Let's quit for today, shall we? It's too fine a day for wasting indoors. Don't be smart with me, Zamla. I'm the teacher here, not you. You will stop. keep training until I say stop. Fair enough. Ow, stop! If you insist. It's no wonder you can't keep your tutors, Zamla. Or should I call them your students? Zamla! How many times have I told you to take your training seriously? I don't know, Grams. I stopped counting years ago. Are you making fun of me, Zamla? No, Master. Good. You and I will talk later. Now please move outside, everyone. I have matters to discuss with my guest here, see? As you wish, Master. Yes, Grandpa. Master, I'm sorry. I can't train him properly. One cannot teach who will not be taught. It's all right, Vader. Thank you. The woman who left last is one of my dear students, Vader. The young girl is the jewel of my life, my granddaughter, Tessin. And as for my war, Zamla, he's my pride and joy as well as my greatest headache. His talent is extraordinary, see? His potential defies all logic. Alas, for all the strength the goddess gave him, he won't embrace it. But look at me blabbering away, like some old geezer. My students do not concern you. In fact, tell me, what does concern you? We study rare artifacts. What place is better for that than the great village of Taiming, home of the renowned, re-owned collectors? Our artifacts, hmm. Don't worry, Master. We're not here to take anything, as I said. It's merely for our studies. The rarest treasures rest in the inner shrine. Luckily for you, visitors are occasionally let inside to look at our collection. And luckily, the waiting time for such requests is quite long, about 15 years to be more precise. Fifteen years? We don't have that kind of time. No, then I suggest you go and fight it, if you wish. I can help you make a formal request of entry. That's fine. We'll see to it ourselves. Thank you for the help, Master Shizu. You're quite welcome. Please feel free to stay in the village outskirts, but you can't go further than the gate. While you're a strange lot, I don't sense any evil intent in you, child. Stay on that path, and I'll look forward to your return. Yeah, thankfully I have a slight advantage of the fact that I can go into the past. So we ended up back in our own time. If the rips, rifts are as predictable as this, perhaps we can use them to our advantage. By the way, was it just me or were the people back there completely oblivious to the rift? It's probably for the best. I imagine news of time travelers will cause quite a stir. Anyway, the odd man said there's artifacts from the inner shrine, wherever that is. It's not here. We need to go deeper into the village. Let's head north, kid. Yeah, here's where we get some of the newer enemies. 
such as the big rock guy who really doesn't do much except for hop around. Who can... yeah, they're really not much of a threat. I like how it says it occasionally zaps, but it really zaps quite frequently. Bamboo. I know bamboo gets you a one-handed sword, but I thought, why not? Seems like it could be used. Oh, wait, so this is the... Wait, one thing I do want to check, though, is I want to um, check out the main building. Hello, you don't really look like a soldier, do you? I'm sorry, but these barracks are for guards and collectibles. If you want to apply for citizenship, please visit the border of the north. Get Barnacle on here. Womp. Oh shit, here's this boy. I wonder if I could parry him. I fucking whiff that. Why is my character facing the wrong way? Okay, that time. Oh god, this guy's just gonna absolutely maul on me. Jesus Christ, I completely fucked up that encounter. Why is my character always facing the wrong way? Car turn around, Jesus Christ. The character just wasn't turning around the first fucking like 12 times. I can also just keep moving and then he can't actually hit me in general. If I just keep moving, he just can't hit me. That's one of the great things about this ability is I can just keep on moving and he can't do anything about it. Ow, except for when he does chase me down and hit me. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's so tanky, which is a real problem. Actually, all the enemies here seem ridiculously tanky for some reason. Ooh, just gotta keep moving. Just don't stop moving. Don't stop moving. Oh, good thing my shield faltered right at the end. Ow. I don't like how he can just change direction quite simply. Whew. Here's the ability to change direction on a dime where I just can't. <laughs> if I dash, I could easily just get out of there every time he goes to attack. Oh, that was my fault. I walked straight into his fucking heel. Nope. <laughs> God, that's actually going to be a hard fight. Fighting all of them. But at least I know what I'm going to do for this guy now. But I'm just going to keep on moving. I'm just not going to stay still. Hesitation is defeat. Bait him into an attack. Just keep baiting him into an attack. <laughs> I can actually do that. Run through him seems to be the strat. Yeah, you really have to run from that attack. Ah, oh, cheeky get. Or at least block it is another strat. Damn it, I missed time. And again. Heal. Shield. Get ready to just rock and roll. Oh my god, he really wanted to fucking hit me with that attack. He delayed it for so long. Delay, delay, delay. When he really wants to hit you, he will just hold the sword back for ages. The rock things will get in my way, though. They're the real problem. As long as I keep on... Drifting, we should be fairly safe. Six, five, 
four, three, two, one, shield. Oh, nice. Dodge in and out. Right, Goro the big boy. Now I've just got to deal with this dog. Oh, wait, I've got this ability. Boom. Whew, okay, these enemies are actually going to be pretty tough, it seems. One soldier door, you found a fancy key to the. No, I just got to find the right door. Sneaky. Sneaky. Oh, God. Time to head up. Yeah, here we got the worm enemies, who are pretty annoying, but they don't seem to get in the way too much. Oh, it seems like they can't dig as long as you're still attacking them. That's very convenient, actually. Because that means as long as I'm just trucking away on one of these worms, I can't be intervened. And the dog thinks really can't move that far. Uh, there's two more enemies I remember. You got the uh, monkey. And I think you got some sort of plant. Oh, you got these things. Yes, these things that release spore clouds that explode. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what spore clouds do, I guess. <laughs> that's one way to pollinate, I guess. Well, not pollinate, to fertilize. It's just to fucking throw your... I was going to say something very <laughs> interesting. So I'm, uh, I'm just going to leave that at that. Now around. Oh god, this is a possibly even worse combo because I've got something that will eternally chase me and then things that just sit in place. These things will just keep popping my shield so I can't actually shield. However, I do get iframes from them though, so you know it's a that's a trade. Running, 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 running. And I've got a lot more of a wider area to just fucking dodge. Ah! Oh, I got iframed. Thank Christ. Just one more combo on that guy. One more blade spin on that guy and I'm safe. Can't you hit me over here, can he? I just want to get my shield up before I do anything. Right, okay, that's the... Right, now just me and you. Oh, close. Close. One, two, three. Shield. Spin. Spin. Jesus Christ, he's just so fast. And if I want my next blade... I'm going to have to farm this guy. Jesus Christ, it still goes. Oh, I can't even back out either. I have to fucking keep on going. Honestly, I think grinding up levels would be completely fine here because of the fact that I kind of need them. I don't know how I killed that fucking rock guy in like two seconds, but I guess I did. Six, five, four... Three, two, one. Heal. Hey! Oh my god, I actually got the helmet straight away. Nice. That's just a straight defense upgrade right there. Heal. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Yo, these shadow guys, I don't know if it's just me, but this shadow like swordsman kind of reminds me of the bad things from LEGO Universe. Was it the Maelstrom? I forget what it was called. But they low-key remind me of that. Damn, I missed LEGO Universe. That was that was a great game. Well, maybe not like an amazing game, but it, it was it was a fun game at least. 
Uh, where's attack speed? Yes, speed is key. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, shit! You can't. Oh wait, yeah, you can't do utilities. Uh, beyond that. Gee, yeah. If it, in arcade mode, if it breaks, it gets 90 second cooldown because it'll be so fucking strong. I still think the bubble is like one of the best abilities in the game. If I haven't stated it enough. It's essentially just a rechargeable shield. Hey Zamla, look what I made you. It's the crown you'll wear when you become the king of collecting. Ha, ah, you made this? It's amazing. Thanks, Tess. Although, I don't really want to become a king of collecting. Well, you got a crown now, so you must become king of something. In that case, I'll become the king of having fun. <laughs> it doesn't have quite have the same ring to it, but I guess I'll have to do. My first decree as the king of having fun is to abolish all weapons and boorish combat training. From now on, it will be illegal to do anything but have fun. Huzzah! Long live the king! King of having fun, that's... Whatever, let's move on, kid. I'm sneaky boy. They'll never know. I don't know what you're doing. Hey, look, the magic shield. I don't think I've seen you here. Then again, Mindy only take us out once or twice a week. I enjoy the cool air, but I'm a bit worried about insects being unable to look down. It could be quite disturbing. <laughs> So don't stay in. Ah, getting polished feels so good. I'll make you shine like you're newly made. Have you thought about who you'd like to wear you? A shine knight, brave and strong. We'll make the world a better place together. That's a great dream, Brazelet. She takes a garden and plays the best of all butterflies. One day someone is going to equip me and a wristband and steel face and we're going to go and see the world. Please stop calling me steel face, Pry. You know I don't like it. I'm sorry, I get bad with names when I'm excited. Young and empty. Was I ever like that? <laughs> bag just always old and grumpy oh wait if i move this in current day i think that means i can go past in the olden day but yeah fuck it let's go such a reminds i made from a special stone that's extremely light as long as the tracks haven't been filled they're easy to move around i can't decide where this one should stand though <laughs> Iron fun yes excellent as it's king i welcome you to the court of having fun so I made a crown named the King of Having Fun, where well, he's actually supposed to be the King of Collecting, but Zamla isn't really into that stuff. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of trade. Because the place told you from any of the town I've been to. Being a sailor is great and all, but you miss out on some pretty cool sights when you must stick to the coast. Traders clearly stay the Trans Pacific Pact, traders move from Mer, pretty sure but the TCTP is between merchant irons and Atom. Timing is a sovereign city state. You're free to sell your goods to the licensed merchants, but not directly to ordinary citizens. Obstinate barbarians, globalization is inevitable. If you won't submit to it, then you'll be left in the dust. Heed my words. I'm just a guard, sir. I suggest you take your diplomatic concerns to someone of a more political lineage. Bah. Ah, yeah, this place with the shop. <laughs> Give him the key. Won't do us any good. Let's unlock his house in our own timeline. Yeah, exactly. We'll just go into the past and unlock it because Beckham. <laughs> Hope you will. But it's got fair in town if I may. I said you could bring a sign of proof. If you report some test paper, the what? Sorry, uh, if you haven't gone through the paperwork, I can't give you a pass. Do you want me to bring you a form for applying to citizenship? Forget it, we'll find our own way through. Find your own way through. Uh, find our own little groove, was what I said. Don't you have ears? Let's go, kid. we just break down the door. But yeah, all we've got to do is go into the past. And then go up through here. Into the town. And then we just unlock it with the key I found earlier. Here's a fucking portrait of himself. Bit. Bit cocky of him. Nyom. 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 What's that? No, no, it's just a book in a case. A bit weird to store just a book in a case. Sneaky, sneaky. It's just don't touch that shit. Don't judge me. Ah, there you are, Zamla. I've been looking for you. Oh, hey, Grandpa. I forgot about the time. Then again, what's time to a king? King? 
Ah, just give me a crown and make me the king of hang from. Now, not only can you order me around, especially not for boring stuff like combat training. What's that frown? As the king, I owe you to smile. Smile. Zamla, you've taken me to the end of my patience and well beyond. The king of fun? Ha! You who got... Who gloat with your talent while letting it rot. You'd rather wear a clown as a joke than a responsibility. You're not fit to call yourself a king, not of collecting, not of having fun, not of anything. I, I, before I, before you were born, Zamla, the eldest priestess told me of, of a vision in the tear of the goddess. She said there loomed an evil so strong, not even I could match it, not with all my men combined. I laughed it off, of course, but I'm not a man of superstition. But when I look at you, Zamla, what if there's someone else like you out there? Someone with your extraordinary talent? What if that person decides to nourish his talent? And what if that person is not, is someone who is not a kind person? Such a person could destroy our peaceful town. Left with it, eh, now? <laughs> so I'm like, I hate to imprint these horrible thoughts in a boy barely eight years old. What if something truly happened to this place, to me or to Tesson? And what if you could have stopped here if only you had trained, if only you had become a collector? I know you never asked for these powers that you have them, and you're responsible for how you use them. Or not use them. I'm sorry, Master, I never thought of it that way before. If I must become stronger to protect you and Tess and everyone else, then it's, that's what I want to do. I swear by my name, I, Zamal Amir, will become the strongest collector in the world. I'll talk to you later, Master, I must find my sword. What a cruel man I am, asking a child to sacrifice his youth. But his crafty is what it takes to make that boy follow his destiny. Yeah, a bit fucky, honestly. But, you know. Oh, I fucking messed that up. I was meant to go through the gate. Give me a mo. <laughs> oh, I remember that time gate being there being annoying. Don't mind me, enemies. I'm just going to ignore you all for now. Probably, this will probably be a good place to get XP though, because these enemies seem pretty tough, so it definitely means they're at a uh, good level to fight. Downstairs, around. Portal, and then we go straight through this time. Time rifts are collapsing. Ah, here we got a big kerfuffle right here. I'll touch. <laughs> no. Hmm. Wait, is that... Zane, wow, you haven't aged at all, have you? You look just the same all those years ago. Are you surprised I remembered you? Well, Grant Caesar talks about you from time to time. He'll be super stoked to hear you actually came back to timing after such a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Did we know you? Ah, I guess you wouldn't recall. I'm Tessens. I'm my sister. Wait, what? You've all grown up. That means you must have gone further into the timeline. Timeline? Uh, never mind that. What I really want to know is where the inner shrine is of all the juicy artifacts, that is. Oh, it's a bit further than off. Did you already get permission to visit? Uh, you're looking pretty official nowadays. Maybe you can help us. Oh, oh me. Oh my. I just became a priestess. I'm not highly ranked enough to help you with that. Right, so who is? Well, I guess one of the high priests could help you, but the waiting time is very long. Uh, bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Come on, kid. Let's see if we can find a way forward in this timeline on our own. Sorry, it couldn't be of more help. I hope you find a way. Good luck and see you around. Sword guy. Yes. Yeah, much, a uh, much tougher chest piece. Honestly, a good upgrade, I feel. Big branch. Uh, but the chest piece, I actually like. Yes. Slightly less attack speed, of course, but I don't really care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've got like two of those. Um, but yeah, where is my thing? Oh, the mask can piss off as well. Let's equip it. So we have more defense, but slightly less attack speed. Oh, the monkey place. Go monkeys. Go monkeys. No, what have you done? Quick, Igor, catch them. The very big monkeys. Why did you do this? Why? Oh dear, I hope I can get research grants after this. Yeah, no researching monkeys for you. Bad. A bad person. Oh, hello. Well, I'd be. Zane, still carrying that scissor sack for you, hmm? He didn't seem to be the patient type, but even so, I had a feeling you'd return one day. I'm glad you got to see our 
beautiful village in its full glory. Too bad your rival Zamar's out on one of his great adventures, though. The boy's grown up to be something spectacular. Between you and me, I think he might be the first collector to find every card there is. Tessin is a little sad that he's not at home anymore. I could be prouder of the boy. Uh, actually, I had uh, all of the cards before him on my character. I mean, the game wasn't fully updated, but I still had every card before him. Monkey on roof, ego arms short. No monkey for ego. Good day. Invited. Just fucking nomming down those noobles. Oh, and then you're drinking here, I think. Because I'm sure you're the guy who keeps going talent, but I don't know. Even when he was a kid, he didn't feel like just some. Uh, more like an intuition of a veteran warrior. You're not born with something like that, are you? Something's weird with that guy. Is that the booze or just jealousy talking? What? Well, how rude. Get your ugly trash out of here, kid, before I put him in the bin. Puzzle time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I need to do. I think this is for a quest later, but fuck it. Give me that drink. Damn. <laughs> kind of disappointed now. Uh, boy, if I go into olden days out here, then. Hey, a teleport flight. Nice. I think you've got, like, the ghosts of people. Oh, you also got accessories and stuff. Some nice hat. Fishing. And jewelry. Oh, is that an upgrade to attack ring? Oh, shit, we got an upgraded attack ring anyway. So I guess that... Glove wasn't really going to be used too much. Because I lose magic attack, but I gain 14 attack, which is a good chunk. Hey, there he is. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's a, it's a fucking sentient helmet. Can I dab? Let me try that on my far end for a while. go across him. Never mind. Um. Ooh, hello. Oh, is this where I can get the ability to grow uh, roots? Ah, the puzzle cave. Ah, yes. Sorry, get in here. You can spend your allowance, but you can't. You have to wait until construction team. Uh, my totally licensed workers are hammering away as we speak. Yeah, the totally licensed workers. Definitely not cavelings. Uh, I think I've just got to find the right path. Hold on, no. I want to cross. I want to cross, but then I want to go into the past. Oh, I need to get way down. Okay, yeah, right. Ah, this is where I need to go. Duh. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. It'd be a shame if I were to remove all the water from the village. Haha, <laughs> you can't get down here, Dumbo. I'm guessing I need to push all these around correctly then. Right, I know that I've got to do this though first. Yeah. This way will allow me to get a chest, I think, in the future. Yeah, I've just got to raise the water and then I can grab a chest. Future. Move this. And then they will be in the same position. I've just got to make them all float. I, had, I swear that was like a bang outside. And then into the past again. Oh, I need to get across. Never mind. So we go over here and then we go into... Let's actually fight some stuff though on the path. Yeah, just one of these guys. I can handle him. 
Hopefully get the sword piece as well to actually make his weapon. Even though his weapon's good, it has a really fucking powerful downside. Like a really fucking big one. Hoo yo yo! That was close. Just gotta keep moving, just keep moving. Heal! Oh god. <laughs> I think, I think, I don't think I've actually done a Steam review on uh, Secrets of Grindia yet, now that I think about it. I probably am going to wait for Secrets of Grindia to be fully released, though, before I do that. Because it's always game, uh, I mean, the game right now is one of my favourite indie games of all time. It might even be my favourite, to be fair. But I want to make sure that the game is fully done and crisp before I uh, think about um, releasing it. Before I think about putting a review down. Because it's kind of weird to review an early access game. It's nice to do it, of course, because it can sort of be like, yeah, the early access game is good at the moment. But there's always the future for it to change and then maybe it will come bad. It's like with No Man's Sky, the people who reviewed No Man's Sky's Insane. To be fair, No Man's Sky was a full game on release. I don't think it did say it was early access. But the people who reviewed No Man's Sky saw it at that point. But at this point in the game's lifespan, it's actually a good game. I'll say No Man's Sky, no Man's Sky is an amazing. I'll say that today's No Man's Sky. But it is a good game, honestly. I uh, played it. Um, I have played it uh, a fair bit, and it's uh, it's pretty nice. I've got to try and VR though, although my PC would probably set on fire if I did that. So, uh, no Man's Sky is quite a hefty game to run, and putting it in VR. Hmm, sounds like a death sentence. <laughs> Cause there's seriously nothing here. I forget there is, like, nothing here, though. Oh, maybe in the past. Yes, that might be it. Hey, memory. Hey, I've seen this creature before. Don't be silly, Zamla. That's a yay. They live far away from here. I've seen it, though. I fought them in my dreams. In your dreams, hmm? Yeah, in the dream, I fight my way up a mountain, seeing all kinds of crazy things. It just goes on and on until, until I die and wake up. Doesn't sound like a very fun dream. Oh my, have you talked to Shizu about this? I did. He laughed and said, so that's where you practice. That old fool, he shouldn't joke about children's nightmares. It's okay, they don't bother me that much anymore. Besides, I got to see exotic monsters. If you say so, dear. Oof. Yeah, Zamla didn't have the best past as a kid. And some of you, of course, who were paying attention earlier realise who Zamla is. Child from far away, your origin eludes me, for never before have I laid eyes on such garments. Pray tell, where do you hail? You should probably level down your language if you want to talk to kids, robot. Fair point, artifact. I ask of you to hold on, but for one moment. There, I've changed my settings to high school. I should make more sense to you like this. I'm not only a conversational android, but my creators want to test if phasing imprint was possible for robots. Need to say, it seems to work perfectly fine. Also, they do have robots. They have straight up robots. Hey kid, do you like a phase shifting stuff? Civilians can't try it out yet, but we're working on getting it clear for public use. In the next few years, phase shifting will be a national sport of all nations. I wish I could just phase shift and prove them. So from here... Where are they from? Wisp. Oh, yeah, the Wisp. Nice. Interesting. But I guess I can progress now by going into the past. That is not into the past at all. But I can go into the past through here. Actually, no, I could just walk up here anyway and then go into the future. Yes. Yeah. This is where I need to be. You! I'm not letting you live. Your existence is beyond me. Heal. I thought this way you fought the boss. I guess I'm just remembering it wrong then. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, I've got to go grab all the five key, the three keys, not five. I can't even like count. Perfect. Go go go. I should probably get the EP regen potion honestly, because I really need that. I just need to pump in some EP regen stats. The wrong thing. Perfect. Now I'm buffed up correctly. Right, let's take out everything else first, then we'll deal with the big guy. Dodge. Dodge. I'm actually dealing semi decent damage him now. I feel at least. And I can take a whole nother hit from him thanks to my level up. But Oh, I tried to parry that. That would have been good if I did. Fuck off. Oh, I actually dodged him point blank with my fucking just I just ran at him and meleeed him. Apparently that count as a dodge somehow. Shield. Dodge. Careful, careful, careful. Goodbye to you. Watch you. I don't know if this is a permanent battle area now that I'm thinking about it. It might be actually. Oh god, I thought I could heal again. I mean, this is where I normally farm for items, if I remember correctly. Or is that slightly later? It might be slightly later now that I'm thinking about it. Heal! Block. Buff. Oh, I was inside him. There's no way that attack hit me. I know this was a limited battle thing. It just took a while, that's why I thought. They've closed it, man. You humans sure know how to lock up your artifacts. Three, these three sockets, are they keyholes of some kind? We're gonna need to get some more information. Let's go back in time and ask someone. Maybe that priest of friend of ours can be of use for a change. Hello again, how's it going? I'm sorry I couldn't help you before. I oh, don't worry about it, quiet girl. You can redeem yourself by answering a simple question instead. The large gate, the large gate leading into the inner shrine. How does it operate? Pardon? I mean, how does it open and close? Oh, it never closes. I mean, a long time ago they used to close it, but now that it's open on time. Uh, well, let's just pretend it was shut. How does it open? Ah, history isn't my best subject, but I tried to explain. See those three emblems on the door? Back in the day, the high priestess, moss collector, and the mayor held each one. The door could only be opened when all of them got together and almost no one ever went in there. However, as the town grew, many priests moved into the shrine and security became impractical. They decided to keep copies of the key emblems to make it even easier to get in and out. Too easy, even. All the copies, key copies made the door lose its purpose and they decided to place guards instead. For the last 100 years or so, the door has remained open. Alright, so to open the doors, we would need those three emblems. Theoretically speaking, where could we find some of those? Oh, nowadays, they're just like membership badges. Us priests carry the emblem of faith, collectors carry the emblem of valor, and all the regular citizens have the emblem of loyalty. You hear that, kid? Sounds like getting a hold of those badges won't be as hard as I thought. What do you want the emblems? Uh, souvenirs, what else? Opening the door in some different timeline, that's just silly. <laughs> when you feel like that, I suppose it can't really be absurd. I can bet anything that the high priest won't give you an emblem, but I'll try to come up with something. For the emblem of valor, you could try taking a talking to the quest master in the collector's HQ. And the emblem of loyalty are kept in the house of citizens right behind me. Excellent. With my charm, silver trunk, we'll get these tickets in no time. Good luck. If you ever want to know about anything else, I'll be here. Right, I'm going to quickly grab a drink, actually, even though I'm going to end the stream in like 20 minutes. But I'm going to go grab a drink because my throat is really fucking dry. Give me a moment then.
Right, I am back. I've grabbed my drink and now I'm ready to at least uh, play for the little bit of time left and then we can finish up. Oh, you want an emblem of loyalty? I'm sorry, but I can tell you're not a citizen just by your clothes. We just want one as a souvenir. What could harm giving us one possibly have? We can pay you if you like. If you don't have, if you think no harm would be done, you haven't met my dad, all right? So there's no way of getting ourselves an emblem except from you. Not unless you break into the back room and steal one. Break into the back room, eh? That's something we would never do, right, kid? Good. Then I need to tell you there's an entrance on the top of the roof if you can get up somehow. It's supposed to be locked, but I tend to forget on purpose. Wow, you really hate your job, don't you? I do. I really do. That's too bad. Now let's go see if we can figure out a way to get up on the roof, kid. <laughs> Teleport? Um, ah, shrine. You want an emblem of fate? I'm afraid those are only for members of the church. Can't you make an exception for someone who has traveled from afar away? No exceptions. I'm sorry, my child, but my position is on this issue is firm. Oh, well, let's focus on the, on the, uh, focus on the other emblems for now. You bitch. Right. Let's just try out the Eclipse HQ then. Oh, damn. It's a young version of Kitten. Hmm, you want an emblem of valor? I'm sorry, but only those qualified to be collectors can obtain one of those. Trust me, we're qualified. Quite confident, are we? Well, I'll tell you what. Most of the town's collectors have been so busy defending against the giant worms that... Giant thorn worms? Never mind those, kids. Kids shouldn't get involved with boss monsters anyway. All I was saying is us grown-ups are so busy handling the giant monsters that we have no time for quests anymore. If you can pass the trial of quests, I'll make you an honorary collector and give you one of our emblems. Ha! Huh. Basi we're basically born for this challenge. That's the attitude. Here, take these two requests we received last week. One is from Cejo, our revered combat tutor, and the other is from Brian D, our not-quite-as-revered dam operator. Please speak to them in more details about the request. Alright, kids, let's show this old timer how professionals do quests. What do you want? Ugh. Oh, whoa, where'd you come from? Didn't I close the darn gate? Oh, darn rude kid disturbing me in my sleep. I was having such a nice dream too, darn it. Do you have business with me or do you just like the bother people? We were told to file a request to the collectors. Oh, those bunch of snobs finally listened, huh? My years of service didn't go on just after all. Listen up, I've been sleeping, uh, working for 10 years. Know why I got for an anniversary present? Not a darn thing, that's what. Can you imagine? Yes. Well, I've uh, worked hard and deserve a present. And what I deserve is a thousand year ale. A what now? A thousand year ale. They're a type of ale that I said to keep getting better and better for up to a thousand years. Of course, no one has ever waited for a thousand years before opening them. The oldest known ale was left to... To age for 500 years, tasted by an emperor from the Merchant Isles. So I want to taste something no one has ever tasted before, a thousand year old ale. Is this the most insane request I've ever heard? Do you realize that what you're technically, what you're asking for is technically impossible? I don't care if it's impossible, I want what I deserve, darn it, and that's what's impossible. Alright kid, thanks to Time Risk, we might actually be able to get him what he wants. Let's give it a shot now, where can we find some ale? Well, I wonder where, probably the bar. It's kind of the most obvious place. Uh, right over here. Just gotta go into the past and go in. Alright, the barrel's unopened. Now we just need some kind of container for it. Why don't we look for a bottle upstairs? It's never that simple. Monkey! These guys took forever for me to farm the fucking card from them. It's absurd. These guys just wouldn't drop it because they just don't spawn as much as the other enemies in this area. I like how my character is perfectly fine with just massacring monkeys though. I mean, I would be to be fair, but... <laughs> my kids, my character seems like a fairly stable person. Stop Donkey Kong in everywhere, you fools. Banana. Monkey and sword man. The ultimate combo for a bad time. <laughs> Who would have thought an ancient shadow of a probably long dead warrior would team up with a fucking monkey? Go 
God, these barrels are actually really annoying. But I'm very effective at smashing barrels. Two! Hold on, this is this, this ain't right. Hold on, this ain't. This, 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 this surely isn't right. Surely you've been mistaken for another enemy that should spawn. Right, one of you is dead, so I can handle the other one a lot easier. Oh, I was trapped in a corner there. That was an awful timing by me. Just gotta keep avoiding attacks and slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. I forget the barrels even do damage. They're moving so slow you wouldn't think they'll do damage. Oh god, it's so close this is. Oh god, that was very close. This will do nicely. Let's tap on the ale into it. Ah, the 1,000 year ale has been secured. Don't think about tasting. You're not old enough for stuff like that. Fuck it. Just all of it gone. Womp. Stop bothering me, darn kid. Do you want your ale or do you want to smack in the face? No way you got me ale. It's impossible. It's impossible. I deserve the impossible. Where you don't... You didn't ask for us... You asked us for a possible, you asked us for a thousand year ale. Now give it here, a tasting will prove you're a darn brat and liar. This. It's too good, the richness, the balance of bitter and sweet, it's perfect. I, I don't deserve this, I'm sorry I definitely tried, and you too, you lovely magnificent being of a bag. Hey, I'm starting to like this guy. I, I must go, I'll taste a divine drink after being around such a burden and everyone around me, it drives me crazy. I must devote the rest of my life to helping others. That way, I perhaps, I'll deserve this ale I drank, if only a little. What about the damn you're supposed to obviously... Uh, that thing? Oh, I never even touched that lever in my life and no one has ever played. We of timing don't really change things, I suppose. You're free to operate if you want. I'll be sure to tell Kinton of your miraculous success. Goodbye, dear friends. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, kid, let's go. we got our other business left to do. I wanted a bit of it. I should have siphoned at least a bit of it for myself. I mean, I'm too young. I could give it to like, my father as like a present, though. My character's father. Matter of time. Uh, Shizu. Ah, Shizu's next. He wants something very different. Ah, so you hear about my request to collect this? Hmm? I'm glad they send an outsider. Honestly, it's a rather embarrassing request. Let's see, it's about mana. When Tassin and Zamla were young, she always helped me out when I needed her. Of the age, she's become very important to me, and I like to, you know. I want to ask her out on a date, but I don't know how to. All we've ever talked to her about was the children, see? I don't even want... I don't want to embarrass myself. So, my request is for you to find out what she likes. I need to know what flowers to give her, and what she should eat, and what she likes to do. If you can find these things out for me, I'll be eternally grateful. Yes. You want to know about my favourite food, flower, and hobby? Let me guess, I'll see you put you up to this, didn't he? A man of his stature being so awkward, I find it oddly adorable. Still, a lady can't give you a secret just like that. You have to do me a favour, a small favour in return. The bridge to my house has collapsed. You can find some way to get back. I'll tell you my favourite food. Huh, you've already fixed it. My, what a clever solution. Are you ready for your reward? My favourite food is fried banana with ice cream. Great choice. And the flowers? Oh, I can't tell you that, I'm afraid. We of timing believe it's bad luck to tell that to a stranger. In fact, I've only told a priestess, so she can sow the right kind of flowers on my grave. Your grave, huh? I think I spoiled a grave up north. What a morbid thing to say. You won't find me there just yet, anyway. As long as you look, it will take a thousand years, I'm sure. Oh my, you're quite a sweet talker, too. Not to brag, but I get the thing most people love me. <laughs> now, Greylocks, mind telling us your favourite hobby at least? I oh, well, it's rather embarrassing. In fact, I'm sorry, but it's something that I will stay between me and my diary. Tell that sweet old gazer that knowing my favourite food will be quite enough. Well, you can't exactly hide that from me. Hmm, now we just need to find the right day. Ah, here it is. Oh, I love to cosplay. Dressing up as heroes from Legends feels so empowering. I've done dozens of costumes over the years, but I've never shown them to anyway. I'm afraid people would think I'm silly. 
Uh, she likes to dress up and pretend to be a hero. Well, that is pretty embarrassing. Then again, what if someone wanted to dress up as me? That would be pretty cool. I guess I should be so quick to judge. All right, okay, let's pretend she's all of our findings. Yeah, but we've also got to find the fucking grave, which is a bit morbid, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. We'll go inspect a fucking grave. Guess you could say the situation is a pretty grave. Through here. Through here. A lot of going back and forth, it seems. Through here. Oh, wait, I could have just headed straight up here, I think. I just need to get a... Ah, I need to find a, um, a gate up here, actually. Hmm. There might be something in the past I can use. No, that doesn't help. Oh, wait, I can just walk up here anyway. Here, ass man, are loved by all, every creature, big or small. A bunch of big daisies grow on the grave. Damn, this felt weirder than I thought it would. But at least we know what our favourite flowers are now. Let's report back to the old geezer. I must find it. Maybe the next. Jesus Christ, that thing just massacred me. God, this character's gonna be hard to fight. Jesus Christ. It's like I'm playing fucking Sekiro. Oh my god, that timing. I'm marked with fucking death, it seems. Oh my god, I actually got him. Fabric of time. Pretty cool. And then we womp, and then we give it to the boy. You found out all the three things. Amazing, you're quite a detective, hmm? With this information, I can give Mana the best date of our life. I'll make sure to tell the quest master kingdom of your expert ex <sighs> excellent work today. Do ho ho ho. Do ho ho ho. What's do ho ho ho, Gennara? But it's nice to see you, dude. Let's nice see you drop by for another stream. Secrets of Mana. Oh, I get it. I just got the reference. The, the quest is called Secrets of Mana because, you know, it's based off the game. You're only a pun. Oh. <laughs> I make a lot of puns, so I don't actually remember. <laughs> ah, you're back. I heard of your achievements. Great work, and in a timely fashion, too. With those two out of the way, you only have 98 quests left before the completing the Quest of Trials. What? I thought we'd be done by now. Oh, no. One must complete 100 quests to become a collector through the Quest of Trial. Trial of Quests. You've proven to be very adept at questing, however, so I'm sure you... Oh dear, what is? Oh my, they have returned already. I must go. I'll stay here, child. Hide, find cover. Dear goddess, have mercy on my soul. Wow, what a worse. Never mind him. Let's come on, kid. Let's see what the commotion is about. Oh no. Are you alright, Chrono? Can you move? Chrono, get it, because you know they have Chrono from that. The, the game. I can't remember what the game's called, but Chrono. I'm sorry, there are way too many. It's all on you now. Me? But my arm is broken. What am I supposed to do? You show them who's boss. That's what we trust in you, Kinjong. You're right. Leave it to me. I should defend this town. Come at me, you stupid worm. Show yourself. Giant thorn worm. Wow, were people back then really this week? Good thing we're here. Let's show them how true collector fights. Yeah, 
Yeah, this isn't even a giant thorn worm. Good thing you can hit both of the hitboxes if you really time it well. Fuck you. I like how you can hit both fucking hitboxes though and just get like fucking double damage. That fucking double. The good old double trouble. I wonder if you can. Oh my god, if I could hit all three hitboxes, that would have been fucking redonkulous. Oh, there's the second one. Another one? Yeah, this is where the boss is going to become quite the clusterfuck, really. I'm purely just going to focus on the purple one now. Kill one, then deal the other. That's my sort of idea. However, I can hit both occasionally. I've got to make sure I keep on moving. When there's no attacks near me, just heal up and go in. I'm trying to kill these little things because I hope they drop health. But I don't think they do really, which is quite the shame. I guess I'll attack the blue one, because it was just near to me. Right, I'm going to try and run and get a shield up, because I need to be more careful against these guys. Because these guys will take me out if I just fucking underestimate them. Oh, well, that's a free kill hit right there. Heal! Dodge. Oh, piss. That fucking tail attack just comes out of nowhere. I guess that's kind of the point. Both of you are dying. Oh, never mind. Dodge, 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 Heal. I mean, shield. Dodgy, 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 dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. Just gotta keep on running. Pretend like nothing's wrong. Oh, you're both together, you fools. Never mind. I was the fool all along. Wait for him to stop digging near me. And then heal. Perfect. I'm right here, purple worm. Nice, nice, nice. I looked at chat for a moment there. I could have taken like 12 different fucking hits if I wasn't careful. Which I wasn't, so I should have, honestly. Right, that, that, that worm is dead. Like, there we go. Right, I've just gotta, I've just gotta stay safe and heal. Yeah, fucking great job using the treasure boosting potion. Dodge run. Right, I'm getting some good DPS off now. Damage up. Good, 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 good. Dodge! Wow, I got 150 damage just from one of these fucking worm things landing on me. Ah. Right, I just gotta dodge and, dodge and get my potion up. Right, I need to take out these little worms because they all have like no fucking HP left. 99. There. Perfect. That's some good damage right there. Shield. Right. Careful, careful, careful. Boom. 
I did a lot of damage to all that attack, so I should probably be using it more, honestly. Buff. Spin, 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 spin. Wait for him to appear, and big slam. Amazing, what extraordinary fighting skills. If you haven't come along, we would be. We're doomed, it's a matriarch. There he is. Is that we're saved? He's back. Weaklings, you call yourself collectors, and yet you must rely on a foreign child to help you protect our home. I'm sorry, Valmar, we simply don't have the manpower to defend against them. At least we're here to fight. You're always busy with your stupid little Avengers. I don't think you care about this place at all anymore. What? What did you just say? Do you think I've been training all this time to fight mere worms like these? Someday a much greater evil will threaten this world and I aim to be its equal. I can still become much stronger. There are still more cards to be found. Until I've found them all, I can't be sure I'm the strongest. I don't have the leisure to settle down here until I've become as powerful as I possibly could. Have fun settling down after the mere learns have leveled the place. Now, now, let's all calm down. We're all collectors here and fighting won't help anyone. You're strong. Stronger than this lot, anyway. Zamla, after all this time. Have we met before? I remember you now. You were that strange older kid that came by when I was younger. Yeah, exactly. Apologies for calling you uh, a kid before. You must be older than I am, despite how young you look. Anyway, you have my thanks for protecting our village. We're in your debt. Kinton, see it today. are properly rewarded for their service. Ah, yes, of course. I think I have a suitable reward in mind. Good, then I... Then clean this mess up, I shall go see Tessa. Excellent idea, she's been missing you a lot. Her house lies to the southwest of the leftmost island. You'll need to tell me where my own sister lives, you fool. Get out of my way. He's an edgy anime protect now. I liked him more when he was just a cocky pacifist brat. Don't be hard on him, Fata. It is the sacred duty of collectors to find rare treasures and grow stronger. You know, <coughs> as well as I, that Zamla cares about this town. He loves... He most certainly loves his sister and Sisu. Now, as for what was it again you wanted for me again? An emblem of Vela. Yeah, I think you've proven your worth quite well, frankly. Here, take one. You deserve to call yourself a collector. Finally, some recognition. Let's go find another emblem. Dins hasn't said they'd keep one in the building to the west. Yes. Right, let's try and get the emblem of loyalty before I end the stream for today. Oh, wait, yeah, so I've got a... Oh, I know what I need to do. I'm a bloody idiot. I've just got to lower the water. Then go around, of course. And then just move this out of the way. So I'm closed down, and the water is... About the springs as the plants would die, what is Brian D doing? <laughs> you never touch the lever anyway, so it's not like it would change much, I feel. Womp. He'll be so used to having constant water, so I just turn it off and it's just like, bruh. These plants require a ton of water grow, so we install these sprinklers. As long as they remain on, these plants should grow big and strong. Uh. Oh, it's a ball. Oh, mister, look what I got for my birthday. The super fancy ball. I love it. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, if you cut down the bamboo, her ball goes into the water. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get rid of that. I don't want to be a dick and make them lose their birthday present. <laughs> but it's a nice little thing. If you cut down that bamboo, it just fucking sails off into the water and she no longer has it. Shwink. Ah, the Emblem of Loyalty. Now we only have one left, the Emblem of Faith. I wonder how we can get one of those. Let's go find Tessan and see if we can make her think harder about it. Didn't that old man say she lived in the southwest of town? Right, but I think uh, either way, I'm going to leave the stream here for today then. Because I've been going for just a bit over two hours. I hope you've enjoyed this stream today. We've made a fair bit of progress in the Mount Bloom area. There's still a few little things I can touch up on. Uh, a few items I need to go grab 
But other than that, we've got the general sort of, um, we're up to timing and we are near, we are very near to one of my uh, favorite bits of Secrets of Grindia, or one of my favorite cutscenes. So next time we play this, we should be able to get that. Uh, I'm not sure, I'll probably be playing this on Tuesday next week, because of course the reason I streamed it on Friday this week is because I did Yu-Gi-Oh on Tuesday instead. But I think I'll return to the original sort of set where I'll do Six of Grinia on Tuesday and then Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist on Friday. I think I enjoyed it. Thank you, uh, Jinhara. Um, if you watch the stream on YouTube, be sure to check out my Twitch in the description. So you can chat with me live and just makes the streams a bit more interesting. But yes, uh, I'm going to send the screen to the away screen so that it can just uh, sort of sit there for a bit. And uh, make sure you stay safe and stay hydrated. And I uh, hope to see you in my uh, next stream on Tuesday. Have a good one.